primitive brain, there is a section known as the amygdala, and the amygdala's job keep you alive. So it has three major skills. It will recognize threats, it will help you get your needs met, and it will help you find that which gives you satisfaction in being alive. And it turns out all three of those are vital to staying alive. So the amygdala is that primitive brain that helps you recognize that's a threat to my existence. Now, when I say threat to my existence, I'm not just talking physical threat. It could be a social threat, an emotional threat, a threat to the me I've always seen myself as. So what it will cause me to do is fright, perhaps flight, try to get away from the threat, fight, try to take out the thing that's threatening me, fight back. Perhaps it'll cause me to hide from the threat. I don't wanna get exposed. Or maybe it will cause me to seek somebody who knows how to take care of that threat. Get me out of this situation. I may seek a way out. So that's when my brain feels threatened, when I feel threatened. And unfortunately, dementia can frequently cause me to feel threatened when there was no threat intended. It's vital that we around the person recognize what's going on. That's a primitive brain reaction. And if that's what I'm seeing, I was a threat, whether I meant to be one or not. So I need to pause in that moment so that what I don't do is make it worse. I need to quit pushing an agenda. I need to quit trying to get them to do something or say something or appreciate something because all that's happening is I'm turning on the part of the brain that says I'm a threat. And unfortunately that can stick a lot longer than the details of what exactly it was we were talking about. Now, the second thing that the amygdala is responsible for is helping me get my needs met. So what are the five core needs that all humans have? Intake, whether it's oxygen, nourishment, hydration, whether it's appreciation, whether it's a sense of being valued or finding pleasure, intake. And then it's energy use. How do I use my energy? I need energy outward. I need to use energy, but then I need to take energy in and reconnect inside. So we call it wake, sleep, or circadian pattern. Your my amygdala is what helps me recognize a 24-hour period and that I use about a third of it for rest and restoration and two-thirds of it being active in the world outside, resting and enjoying, but also taking care of what is to be taken care of out there. Then of course, the third need is one of elimination, waste removal, getting rid of stuff that I don't need, whether it's CO2, whether it's urine, feces, whether it's sweat, whether it's saliva, whether it's snot, whether it's tears, hair, fingernails, things that once, toenails, once they get out there, I don't need them anymore. So we gotta get rid of them. Now, usually we dispose of waste, but the amygdala's main job is to get it out. <laughs> so what you might notice is I'm doing it in places and spaces and in situations where I wouldn't have done it before. What you want to acknowledge is, wow, she still knows how to get elimination happening, but maybe not the way I used to. And all I'm trying to do is keep my system going. Now, these last two human needs that everybody has, I seek to be comfortable and I seek to avoid pain. Pretty typical. But being comfortable, it may be in the space, in the social situation, with the surfaces that I have touching my body, the temperature of the room. Maybe it's even the sensory experience I'm having. I want to be comfortable. So I'm seeking or I'm avoiding because I have an unmet need. And then pain, be it physical, emotional, social, spiritual, when I'm in pain, it's hard for me to pay attention to anything else until we get some pain relief. So recognizing and responding to pain is one of the most important things we can do as a care partner because when my amygdala feels threatened by pain, very little else is being processed. And the final thing that amygdala does, it helps us find pleasure and joy. Now, the bad news is what that can mean early in dementia is I'm seeking out the glucose, the sugar. I'm looking for the fat. I'm looking for the pleasure of an interaction, whether or not it's safe. I may go back to old habits that gave me pleasure, but weren't necessarily healthy. 
or I may try to do things that give me a sense of pleasure and it's risky, like gambling or maybe spending money or going on the late night things or finding a friend. <laughs> And it's not necessarily that which what I would have done because I'm not using my thinking brain. My amygdala is taking over because I have that unmet need. And when I have an unmet need, I want to feel good. And so I do the thing that's not safe. You got to be careful as a care partner that you don't treat this as a threat to you. It's actually something that's not working well for me, but it's a balancing act because you're working with my amygdala, not my thinking brain. I hope that helps us wrap our head around this very complicated thing called trying to support me when what you're trying to do is causing threat or causing me to feel like you don't care, and when in fact you care a lot. <sighs> Take a look at your own amygdala and see how you're doing.